Documentation is simply a part of life. And while some people think that to argue is to fight, educated people such as yourself understand that arguing is really about communicating what you want, what's important to you, and what's good for those around you. Without raising your voice, without fighting, without losing a friend, a partner, a spouse, or a job. An intelligent person, a person of respect, argues well. One of the greatest teachers and philosophers of all time was Aristotle, and he lived during the fourth century BC. When Aristotle taught his students about argumentation, he asked them to remember three important tools, ethos, logos, and pathos. Ethos stands for ethical appeal. This means that you as a writer or speaker are ethical, moral, and believable that you have intelligence, and you know the subject for which you are arguing for or against, that you are honest, virtuous, and show goodwill, and that you have your audience's best interest at heart. In other words, you're not arguing just for the sake of arguing or to hear yourself talk. If you're ethical, then people will listen to you because you are a credible and honest person whom they can trust. Logos stands for logical appeal. This means that your argument makes sense. It's logical. It's organized with sound ideas. To do that, you begin with an introduction, and in that introduction, you make a claim. Then you give reasons to support that claim. In writing, we call these reasons body paragraphs, and within the body paragraphs, you provide evidence to support your claim. You want to avoid what Aristotle called logical fallacies. These are flaws in your reasoning. For example, I bet you've heard people use the bandwagon fallacy. This is when someone says, well, everyone else is doing it, so you should do it. See, that's just not logical. Intelligent people know the logical fallacies and will not be taken by them. If you're logical, then people will listen to you because you make sense and organize your thoughts with sound ideas and evidence. Pathos is also known as emotional appeal. The root of pathos is P-A-T-H, and it means suffering. So the medical term pathology means to find what is causing a person's suffering or dis-ease. Appealing to your reader or listener's pathos is when you try to convince a person through pity or fear. Both are types of suffering. Other emotions include anger or shame. Aristotle warned his students to use pathos sparingly. Avoid and watch out for inflammatory words and personal attacks. And if someone is trying to win you over by relying only on pathos, then that person is trying to get you to react emotionally rather than to respond intelligently. Too often today, people are reacting emotionally instead of wisely. When you can be trusted, when you rely on logic and less on emotions, then people will listen to you. Arguing well means convincing your opposition to think differently. And if you can convince someone to think think differently, well, that has a much more lasting effect than an emotional reaction. Be wise and argue well and for the good of society. Keep reading and writing.